Oh, hi, kids. How's it going? And sir, sir. Yes, hello. What? What, what, what? Okay, so we said we're going to do a question with angles between a uh, line and a plan. Plain. 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 Yeah. yeah. You know. Yeah. So uh, let's do it. Let's see. We've got this. What would you call this shape, sir? A, 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 a slope. Toblerone that you see box. On a BMX. <laughs> <laughs> a triangular prism. Well, ain't done. no fool. Ain't no fool. <laughs> so. All right, so it's a triangular prism. Uh, because the cross section is a triangle. Well done, sir. Well done. Thanks. Remembered. All right. So uh, we want to calculate the b distance between A and E. So we want to do. Should I try yellow? How do you think that's going to look? Oh, that looks nice. You just front. I snorted. <laughs> it's not becoming of a lady. It's not. I do feel like a micro pig sometimes. So I think it's perfectly clear. Moving on. <laughs> moving on. I don't know where that came from. We have to ignore. Sir, guys. All right, so, um, sir, I think I'm going to need you to do some calculations for me. All right. Because if I want to work out AE, I'm going to have to work out AF. Oh, there's a lot of work going on here, isn't it? Quite. Okay, okay. So, um, to work out AF, guys, I'm going to be lazy, and I'm just going to tell you that you have to square root. Sir, what are we using? I think we need to explain <laughs> properly, you know, if we're going to do it, we're gonna, why we're using either Py no, so we're going to use Pythagoras. But why are we using why? Pythagoras? Because why are we not using trig? Because we've got two lengths of a right angle triangle and it's asking us to work out the third and it has nothing to do with any other angles apart yeah. from the right All good? In it. In it though, you get me <laughs> All right, so, um, should we do it the long way? I didn't know there was a short way to be honest. Which Let's is have... basically just square root the squares of the two short sides. Okay. So would you be kind enough to Sorry. type that in the calculator for me? It's phasing out. <laughs> so 14 squared plus 8 squared, and then we're going to square root that. So it's the square root of 260, which gives you 16.1245. 16.1245. Some, some, some. Some, 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 some. <laughs> All right, so now um, I want to work out AE. So I have to do Pythagoras again. Why, sir? <laughs> Is this how you felt during the last video? Exactly how I felt. Because we have two sides of a right angle triangle and it is asking us what we want to find out the third side of the triangle. It's well done. It's beautifully <laughs> said. <laughs> no joke. All right, so again, we've got two short sides and we want the hypotenuse. So we square, square, add square roots, which I'm going to do in one go. All right. And so I'm going to use the exact value that we had from the AE previous AE is yeah. equal to the square of AF, which we just worked out yeah. as 16.1, 1, 1245, whatever, nine. squared, plus 19 squared. So you get the square root of 621, which is 24.91987. So 24 Nine eight. It doesn't ask us for a particular level of rounding, does it, sir? So what would you do? What would you do? I would round to three, round to three significant maybe? figures. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like your questions to me are trick questions. There's no right answer. <laughs> Isn't it? If it doesn't tell you to round, what shall I round to? <laughs> Don't round, no joke. Just leave it. Leave it as it is. <laughs> Do you know a song about everything? That's I can very, make one up about it. It's very unfortunate. <laughs> leave it. Right. That sounds like... I'm up. I know what I'm going to say, but it's probably... Let's Let's carry... Moving on again. Beat it by Michael Jackson. Is it? Like, leave it, but beat it. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know the emoji with the one that slaps his face? That's exactly what That's like half, that's half. Okay. That's probably how the kids are like, because it's like mm. 10 minutes into this clip. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why. So what have we got so far? We've got... Um. the distance. <laughs> we've got the distance A. 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 And that's 24.9. Yeah? So we've done the first yes. part of it. Compose yourself, woman. I'm... Pretty damn composed now. Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Calculate the angle between AE and the plane BCEF. Are you getting rid of it? Okay, go on. Is your, your clip? No, you can do it, you can do it, you can undo. do it. Undo. Keep it, keep it, keep it. J 
Just keep it, keep, keep it, it, keep, keep it. it. <laughs> I see it now, I see it now. I'm getting it. Go on. So do I... You said to get... It's your clip, you that. carry on. You okay, carry on. so we want to calculate the angle between AE and the plane BCEF. So let's draw AE back. Oops, <laughs> should have listened to <laughs> I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> That's a very straight line. Um, right, so plane B, C, E, F is B, C, E, F. That's the base. Yeah. That is the base. So calculate the angle between A, E mm -hmm. and the plane. Mm -hmm. Would it be that? So it would be, I like to see the diagonal. Yeah. 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 And then so this that would be the angle. That would do. I feel like my hands are very steady today. <laughs> we need to get... <laughs> are you feeling all right today, Miss? I am, as always. All right, so... Uh, oh, damn. I took off my 24 port. Oh, no, it's there. It's there, it's there. All right, so let's start. 24. Oh, five minutes in. Let's, <laughs> let's start this question. Part B. Okay, cool, 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 cool. So what do we need? Well, we know that we've got a height, so we're using that right angle triangle. Would it be worth rejoining that right angle triangle so that we can see what we have or no? I'm not sure I know what it is. Okay, never mind. <laughs> no, no, I was just thinking the, the right angle triangle that you've drawn inside over here. Have I drawn a right angle triangle inside? Isn't that what you've done? Oh, have I? Yeah. Oh. Is that what you're using? Yeah. Yeah. So that's the, and essentially the angle we're working out is this one, isn't it? Yes. Because this is E, this is A, and this is B, and that's A. Oh, mm -hmm. and so that's your eight centimetres. How comes I've taken over all of a sudden? And then cool. A to E, we've worked out here, which is 24.919. I think it was eight after that. And then Thank you. you. Go. So we need to work out angle. So, sir, what are we going to use and why? Well, now, because we're having to work out an angle, it now involves trigonometry. Look at you. I know. Right, so yes, we want this. I call it a target angle. Okay, is give that a Stanescu thing or is give that me like a minute a while I shade? No, I think it's a Stanescu right. thing. Okay. So uh, people will call it theta. Some Peter. people call it John. <laughs> theta, theta. <laughs> Good joke, Miss. Theta. Uh, no, I said theta. Um, but yeah, I would call it the target angle, and I only label the sides that. I'm given, or that I know, or that I worked out. Okay. Um, so that means I'm not going to label B. Okay. So if this is my target angle, then I've got the hypotenuse, and I've got the side opposite to it. So I'm going to use so. Okay. <laughs> uh, because that's the only one that has the letters O and H in it. Yeah. Uh, great. So because I want to work out sine of the angle... Um, I'm going to, if you imagine me covering sine of the angle, that means I should do opposite over hypotenuse. Yeah. <clears throat> so, sir, would you do the honors? Well, sine of theta. Sine of theta is equal to, to your opposite. Which is 8. Over, over your hypotenuse. 24.9. Oh, is that what you meant by doing <laughs> That is exactly what I, I meant. So, 8 divided by So, because you're working out an angle, you're going to do shift sign. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And when I'm getting there. 8 over 24.9. Making sure my calculator's in degrees. I've got about three decimal points in this number. <laughs> yeah, no, sorry, sorry. <laughs> so take the inverse of that division and you get 18.7252. 18.7252. Should we round this to some degree of accuracy or? Well, it didn't say. Let the examiner it struggle. Say, <laughs> no, it didn't say. <laughs> so let's just leave it as it is. Let's, uh, let's it. go with what you said, eight, three it's significant degrees, figures. Degrees, isn't it? Yeah. So the angle is 18.7. That's the answer. There you go. Done. We're good? All good in the hood. Cool. I hope that helps. Do you think yeah. it helped? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it helped. Good. Good. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, see you later. Bye, guys.